Tail of the tape for our main event is experience in edge here. Fourth straight time that leaping edge. Walter Castillo. And across the ring, Samurai Leaping Yes. Fighter Chief Second. All right, guys, listen to rules at all times. You must obey my commands. Here and up. Copas. Okay. Touch gloves. Good luck winning this right Joe, did you notice the eyes of yes. Castillo? That's not by accident. Scott could be a problem. Five years ago this month, he fought Luis Bentenko. Experience reminds me of a fight I train. Alexander Povetkin, Joe, also a Russian. To undo the kickboxing as a boxing trainer. What has to be undone? You know, make sure the... He understands that it's upstairs that counts. There's Sergey now as he's able to place that jab from a environment long. in an uncomfortable environment. Hundred times you're getting used to it. It helps you. It I said in the fight plan that Livy Nets is a slow start. It is a while well, the sun shining. You know, while well, Livy Nets is slow, well, he's a slow getting out of that gate. From the corner of the my preparation to my fighter. He's a slow starter. That's great. And again, look for the spots where Olivia Nets sometimes will lead with a left hook and feel, maybe, to get that straight right hand in. Leaping Nets and Castillo, end of one. Taking the complexion of the fight, Joe, because now you can maybe make some mistakes trying to catch up. You saw Sergey fire back. Yeah, again, if I'm, if I'm, he's got physical strength. And you stand in front of him too long, he can use, use that physical strength the way he wants to. Go forward, be first, but more, more importantly, use that jab to establish the distance. in the other corner. Yeah, pretty interesting. Teddy, I had a question for you. Buddy McGirt was telling you to throw his power hand, Teddy. Yeah, not too early, because just the same thing in baseball. We were talking baseball analysis. You, you hit a lot of air, you get yourself in trouble. Use the jab, do the technical things, do the fundamental things. The interesting observation up. by Todd. Was yeah, great in. job by Todd. That's but, the new haircut. But, but again... And the same thing as the baseball. You don't try to hit a home run, Joe. You try to make good contact with the ball. Right now, you can see Levy Nets making a little judgment. Right hand behind the jab, and now Levy Nets a little more comfortable. Hey, my Listen, Dave, so double jabs, Why not jab? putting the hook downstairs. Double jab, okay, right hand straight. Don't loop. Straight. Him to absorb. To digest and yeah, absorb right. the message. Yeah, you, you should eat your food slowly. Digested it. Look at Castillo come after it. Don't choke on it. Yep. You shouldn't be choking in the corner either. Let them come to you gradually. Castillo has been in with the late great Alexis Aguayo. And of course, one of the top fighters today. Some people have more. Great to see somebody in a lower weight class like that getting the attention and put on the back. Left guard. And now blood coming from... Castillo's face. Well, you see in some of the years ago, that great fight with Meldrick Taylor and Chavez. You know, Taylor was winning the fight, you know, out speed and out boxing a little bit. He was marking up his face. And you could see the damage accumulating. The heavy fight, controversial stoppage. Meldrick Taylor was ahead, but at the end, you know, just, just do a little throwaway punch, maybe with the left champ downstairs. And don't even... This is an entertaining main event. The jam set it up. Here's the crooked right hand, but it works. And again, the reason it works, leave you in that. Here in the U.S. and now headlining a nationally televised main event in action here. The PBC on ESPN. Castillo starts off this round with an offensive attack. Landed a right hand to the head in the Final middle. line. That, Castillo's walking a tight bolt in this fight. Check in with Bernardo's in the red corner of Castillo. Mono Fernandez was telling Walter Castillo, I want you to... You know, I was talking about the... and illustrating the loop and right hand earlier. A great fight years ago, back in the 80s. Joe, you probably remember. I Rocky Lockwood's the doofus at him. Yep. Made a down low, downstairs, through a little shoe shine, and then looped that right hand up top. So like to do that. Some chopping shots being landed here. Body punch was the only true one to land on that exchange. 
Just missed with the uppercut, but tagged the belt line, did leaping it. Now he comes surging, and there's that right hand again. The leaping nets again, going downstairs. See it. I can see it working in his head. He's looking to set up something, distract Castillo, get his attention down, and then go up. Of Castillo, those punches gradually starting to bust him up a little. You know, it's subtle. You look at Levy Nets, he's physical to destroy guy. And he is, to a certain extent. But he's more than that kind of guy. He's a lot smarter than that. There's blood coming from his left eye. Toe to toe. Got that belt line two times there. Mike Rodriguez has work to do in the corner of Sergey Lipin. Yes, that is a bad cut. Part of becoming a champion. You know, and our cut man guru, Mike Mascaro, just noted the Ola tomorrow night down in Birmingham, about a four hour drive away well, against gonna, Deontay Wilder. He's, gonna, he's, he's getting the blood tomorrow night as well. Yes, sir. We'll find out how good the job Mike does. Now, Sergey. Mike Rodriguez, what's your first concern when you see a cut on the eyelid like that? Well, you know what it was caused by. If you don't get the bleeding to stop? Yeah, absolutely. Just by the nature of the cut, it, it could get a little bit bigger. Um, just, it, is, it is pretty deep. Um, it just depends on how much trauma he sustains this round or two, I would be able to. All right, Joe, plenty of science going on over here in the sweet side. Yeah, yeah it's right. fifth round. And it's wide open again, and blood is dripping down his face. If not, as he said, the more shallow cuts, you start with adrenaline, one 100 in there, hold it, get the blood to stop, and then you put either that or Avatine is going to have to be used. And we are past four rounds. You know, not real careful with the heads, and there's a nice setup. And split the guard there scored very well. That, that cut is flowing. Sure is. Truck, and once again, why I call for instant replay. Not everybody. But some commissions yeah. will use replay. Greg Serb up in Pennsylvania. Oh, it makes me bang my head against the wall to have the text and not use it. That cut may not matter if Leaping yet keeps going like this. Here in round number six, landed a good body shot with a man for now patiently stalking Walter Castillo. They're, they're looking like wide punches, and they are a little wide from leaving Nets. He's getting the right range before he throws them. And every once in a while, a little subtle dip to one side, and then a punch up on the other side. Upstairs now, after going downstairs. Another right hand to the body. That's how he won. Oh, you put a little, take a little air out of those tires. Pump to those tires. Glancing blow, that right hand didn't get it clean at all. Castillo's standing, he's not using the jab. I understand not standing in front of the stronger guy, but if he doesn't move his hands, he's getting enough jabbing. End of six here, Joe Tessitore, Teddy Atlas with you ringside with Tom. Gives us a chance to listen in as they deal with that cut. Now you see the right hand barrage is there. Now we slow it down a little bit more. Now that is clean on that one because Castillo rolled with it. This one didn't ride with it too much. Hopefully not lost in translation. You got caught with that right hand, but now you need to take the initiative in this round with your range. Mark the distance with the jab and don't let him get inside. Absolutely. You know, he needs to control range. He needs to avoid some of the power shots. It's the offense to keep the strong undefeated fighter from he has done a good job with the coagulant that he's put in there but and quite frankly castillo has helped mike rodriguez by dropping his man's friend a good yeah, fighter he, he has been in the ring yeah but the cut man's friend this time was the opponent. Is interesting point i think if somebody got the information to castillo's corner that hey caused by a punch and maybe you maybe you could appeal it Oh, good right hand there. Timed it perfectly. Hold on. Chased back to the neutral corner. A lot of time. A lot of time. Couple body shots. Snuck it by this here in round seven. A right hand to the body from Leaping Nets. You see the strength from the strength of Leaping Nets. And the point I was making is if Castillo and maybe tries to stop Leaping Nets. Look at this attack, Teddy. That's it. It's over. TKO victory, Sergey.
They are leaving us just two, two rounds ago. We talked about it, Joe Castillo dropped his punch count way too long. And it's going to come, obviously, but if they had gotten it right, and if, at the end of the day, Levy Nets going to win. This but thing was going downhill, and he could finish. Hold the right hand, pass home, and then here's the end. Where, you know, it's a downpour of punches. And as I said, and again, we'll show it to you again in case you want to see it again. Doesn't land clean, that one, but it backs Castillo into the ropes. Sergey Samurai.